What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here. I've got to be honest and start off by saying that this isn't how I wanted it to turn out. Like I had a completely different vision of how I wanted this look to turn out in my mind. But I gotta say, like, I'm low-key feeling it. So all is well, it all turned out well in the end, but I just wanna let you guys know that this entire look that you're seeing right now was done using all drugstore products, and I did, of course, use the NYX In Your Element Fire Palette, which, I mean, I mean, the colors, though. Like, I had to, you know I had to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. And with that being said, let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm gonna start things off today by priming the face. I'll be using the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer today. So as you can see, I'm just going ahead and blending that all over my face. And I'm using the Real Techniques Stippling Brush to do so. As you guys can probably tell, I do have a few more marks than usual on my face today. I've just been trying out a lot of different skincare lately, trying to figure out what my skin likes because I feel like my old skincare routine wasn't really doing the best. So that explains all those marks on my face. But some of you guys have noticed that I have been breaking out lately. I guess I'm just like stressed and I've been trying new things. So next up for foundation, of course, I'm pulling out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You guys who watch me regularly know that I use this all the time. Whenever I want to do a drugstore tutorial or any tutorial for that matter, I always love to use this foundation because it honestly is so good for the price. Like it's insane. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my face with the spatula and then I'm using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend it in. I don't know about you guys, but watching people put foundation on is just so like soothing and satisfying for me to watch. Even when I watch back my footage as I edit it, I'm like, yes, get that coverage girl. Like it's just so satisfying to see the face transform. So next up, I'm gonna go in and color correct the darkness underneath my eyes with this baby right here, the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Peach Corrector. So as you can see, this is like a peachy salmon tone and that's really gonna to help to correct the darkness underneath my eyes and help to brighten up that area a little more. So I'm just applying that to those areas and then blending it out with the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. So now that that color corrector is on and blended, I'm gonna hit up those areas with some concealers. So I have here two different shades from LA Girl. We have Porcelain and Creamy Beige. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of mix the two to custom create my own shade. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those to the under eye areas once again and also to all the other areas of my face that I like to brighten up. So like down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and on my chin. And I'm just going to go back in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to blend all of that concealer in. So now to set all that concealer in place, I'm going in with the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Pressed Powder. As you can see, I'm just lightly patting that over the areas where I just applied that concealer. I'm using the Sigma tapered highlighter brush to do so. And then for all the other areas of my face, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focused Pressed Powder. Now this one is in the shade Warm Beige, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that over the areas that I have not yet set with any powder. I'm just using the Sigma F30 Large Angled Powder Brush. So I've zoomed you guys in because I'm gonna get started on the eyes now. I will finish off the rest of my face later, but for now I'm firstly going to prime my lids using the NYX Eyeshadow Base in Skin Tone. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that all over the lids right up to the brows, and I'm using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to do so. I'm also just gonna go ahead and set that base in place. This will just ensure that we have a nice smooth canvas to apply the shadows to. So now onto the fun part, which is of course applying shadows. So for this look today, I am I'm going to be using the NYX In Your Element Fire Palette. And let me just quickly show you guys like the colors that we're working with. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so keen to dip into the red. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I'm going to be taking the yellow shade right here as my initial transition shade. I'm just going to run that back and forth through the crease, blending it out as I go. And I'm using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. So when it comes to that yellow color, since it is such an intense color to be working with, I'm just slowly, gradually building it up to the intensity that I want it to be. That's very important when you are working with any like bright colors, is that you kind of 
work up to the color that you want it to be. Don't go ham and go crazy and just apply a stack of color in one go. You just want to build it up slowly. Alrighty, next up, I'm going to go back into the palette and take the matte red shade that I was super keen to dip into. So I'm using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. Essentially, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the same area as I did with the yellow shade. So I'm still blending it as you can see, pretty much doing the exact same motion, just not blowing it out as much as I did with the yellow. So now that I have the red in my crease, I'm going to go back in with the first brush that I used to apply the yellow. And I'm just going to go ahead and ever so slightly blend along this top edge just to make sure that, you know, everything looks nice and smooth. And then once I'm happy with how that looks, now I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. So I'm going to be taking these two things right here, the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Porcelain and the Sigma, let me see what this is, F70 Concealer Brush. So these are what I'm going to be using to do this cut crease. I think I'm actually just going to do a semi cut crease. So what I like to do is coat my brush in the concealer and then pretty much apply the concealer to my lid to the area where I think the cut crease will be. And then if you need any extra guidance, what I like to do is apply the concealer and then look up. And then any areas that I have missed will kind of create an imprint on the eye and give you the exact spot where the crease is going to be cut. So it's kind of hard to explain, but as you can see, it's a lot easier than what you think would be to do a cut crease. When it comes to the outer corner of the eye, I kind of just like to take my ring finger and gently dab at the area just to kind of help the concealer fade out into the rest of the lid. All right, so now that we've got the concealer on the lid, I'm like trying not to move my eyes too much because I don't want it to mess up. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pretty much set the concealer in place with some shadows. So first of all, going to go back into the yellow and I'm actually using the Zoeva 325 Luxe Brow Light Brush, but I'm just using this to press it onto the first inner third of my lids. As you guys can see, it is super intense. And what's good about the whole concealer trick is that it really does help to make the shadows pop and just look more opaque and bright on the eyes. So next up, I'm gonna go into this kind of matte pale orange down the bottom here. Actually, it's more like a coral shade if you think about it. So I'm just gonna take that shade and I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the center of my lid, blending it into the yellow shade and dragging it out towards the outer corner just a little. Now for the outer corner of my eyes, I'm gonna go back into the matte red shade and I'm using the same brush that I used to apply it to my crease, the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and apply this to the outer corner of my eyes and slightly drag it in towards that coral shade that we applied to the center of the lids. And that's gonna help finish up the gradient effect that I have going on. I wanna add a little more depth to the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna be taking this shade down the bottom right here and I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that over that matte red shade that I just applied. And this is really gonna help define the eye a little more. I'm just going back in and applying a little more extra color to the very cut of the crease. So I'm using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush, taking the tiniest amount to the tip of the brush and ever so gently running it right along the cut just to make it look a little more defined, you know? So I'm pretty happy with how everything on the lid is looking. Now for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go back in to the red shade once more. I'm honestly, I'm loving the shade right now, but I'm taking that shade with the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and run that along my bottom lash line. I'm also gonna go back into the matte yellow shade and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush. I'm pretty much just gonna apply this in the same area as I did with that previous shade, but I'm blending it into it, if that makes sense, just to kind of smoke out that bottom lash line a little more. So for the very inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's kind of like a gold, but it has almost like a kind of citrine tone to it. So I'm just gonna take that on a E30 pencil brush from Sigma and just kind of dot that on the inner corner to add a little something something to that area of the eyes. So the shadows are pretty much done now, but I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the NYX matte black liquid liner because I'm gonna give myself a wing. I just feel like with a look like this, 
a fierce wing would look so good with it. I'm not very good at winged liner. I don't know why. I used to be so good at it when I was a teen, but it's weird. I just can't seem to get it right. Like it takes me so long to do it, but that's what we're doing. We're doing a winged liner. Next up, I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl and I'm going in with the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Just a light coat to the top lashes and a little heavier on the bottom because I will be going in with some falsies. So for falsies today, I'm going to be using this pair from iLure. This is a part of the Vegas Nade collaboration in the style Grand Glamour. And as you can see, they are very grand and very glamorous. So I'm gonna be putting these on today. I'm just using the Revlon Lash Adhesive to do so. Now, these lashes are a little more intense than I probably would go for with a look like this, just because I don't want the lashes to hide the eyeshadow too much. But I don't know, I was just feeling some type of way. So these are the lashes I decided to go with. Time to finish off the rest of the face. I'm firstly going in with some contouring powder. I think I wanna take this one. Yeah, this one. So this is the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit that they did in collaboration with Chloe Morello. And I'm just using the Models Prefer Contour Brush to contour my cheekbones and my jawline. And then I'm going in with a Look Good Feel Better eye shading brush to contour my nose. Next up, I'm just going in with the Bahama Mama Bronzer from The Balm, and I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush to run that over my cheeks and around the perimeters of my face just to bronze up my skin a little more. So for blush, I didn't want anything too intense because there's so much going on on the eyes. So I'm just using this Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. As you can see, it's just a really subtle peachy coral toned blush. And it does have a little bit of a sheen throughout it, which I do like. So I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and I'm pulling it back towards my hairline. Next up is my favorite part, which is of course applying a highlighter. So I have here the Sleek Makeup Highlighter Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. Let's just take a moment to look at that. Like it's just so pretty. So I'm pretty much, I think I want to just take a mixture of the two, um, powder highlighters because the other two are cream. So I'm just going to take a mixture of those on the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 highlighter brush and just go to town on the areas that I like to highlight. So my cheekbones, uh, a little above my brows, my nose, Cupid's bow, you know the drill. So for my lips today, I'm going to keep them pretty neutral. I'll firstly be going in with this lip liner from Chi Chi Cosmetics. This is their Stay On Lip Liner in Centerfold. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with that. So I'm going to be using this for my lip color today. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. This is actually one of my favorite lip products like of all time. I use this all the time. It's like my daily color. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to the lips. Then to the very center of my lips, I'm going in with the Astralis Vila Lips Matte Lip Cream in the shade Paris. It's just a little lighter in tone, so it really will help to define the lips and make them look nice and plump. So there we have it guys, that is the final look. I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I'm just gonna give you a moment to, you know, scroll down below, look for the little red button and hit it so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I will list everything that I used throughout the video down below in the description box where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, I think that's everything. Yeah, then all that good stuff is down below. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I love you all. I'll chat to you in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video. Stay glowing.